Okay, let's move on to logarithm. Yeah, the first part is loss, loss of logarithm. Loss. Okay, before we talk about loss, sorry, I think I will just uh, talk to you about basic stuff about the relationship between logarithm and indices. Now, we already know that if a power x equals to y, we can write log base a y equals x. For example, 3 power 4 is 81. Log base 3, the number is 81. The power is just 4. Okay, so this is a simple logarithm uh, conversion uh, from logarithm form to index form. Okay, so now maybe we go through some simple example involving logarithm. For example, if I have log base 2 of um, let's say 3 equals to k and you're supposed to express uh, if let's say you're given 2 power um, should I use uh, 3h plus 1 okay equals to let's say 18 you're supposed to express let's say uh, h in terms of k so this question tells you about the relationship between logarithm and indices now we we know that we can convert this uh, uh, to 2 power k equals to 3 um, we know 18 is actually 9 times 2 so 3 is 2k 2 power k so 9 is 3 power 2 then when I use this result I sub inside I get 2k square times 2 power 1 now we can put it together this will be 2k plus 2 this is 3h plus 1 by comparison 3h plus 1 is 2k plus 2 3h is 2k plus 1 right when you divide h is 2k plus 1 over 3 yeah simple this is one uh, simple example that relates logarithm and indices okay um other things like how to um how to find out uh, how to use the calculator to use to calculate logarithm? I think I don't want to explain that. That is quite easy, and you already know. You already have some. You just just key in the calculator will do. But uh, one of the shortcut is the rule of a power x equals x. I don't know whether you have seen this. Some of you were in my class last year, so you know I've actually taught you this. For example, three power log three five. The result is five. Okay. Now this is a very useful uh, uh formula to solve and simplify logarithmic uh, or indice initial equation for example maybe i give you um say five power the uh, power two my uh, plus log base five um three okay so what can we do with this uh? now we can bring this up to five power two times five power two uh five power this is not two uh, sorry let me change this log base 5 3 now we know 5 power 2 is 25 now using this rule here you see a power log a 3 answer is just 3 right so your result is just 75 yeah it's a quick quick way to solve for uh, what you call that simplify initial equation okay let's move on to the next part the next part is what we call the the laws of logarithm okay now laws of logarithm your textbook they will tell you only three lah, but i like to show you another one four the first law is log ax y when you expand you get log ax plus log base a y this is y this is the first rule it's a the multiplication rule they call it okay second one log ax over y the division rule when you expand it's a minus number three when you have a power m you bring the power down that's what you get up uh, this uh the, the power rule i like to introduce to you guys a new rule uh, that the root if you like is actually the extension of number three uh because i find if you know this is faster just divide by n for, for example log base three of square root of x is just log base three x over two square root means power two if i give you log base five cube root of y we can just write log base five y over three cube root means power one over three okay okay couple of things okay let's start with the simple example um, if you're given log a x equals to p log a y equals to q so how do you express okay log base a of uh, x square 
of a y cube okay a y cube in terms of p and q okay this is one simple example we, we know we can break it out in the logarithm remember log a x is just uh, you put the x square first divide becomes minus but please take note i'm going to divide with both uh, so i i better minus both or i'll just split this because a times y when you break it up becomes a plus but you're dividing both all right and number two we can bring this power two down in front this is log a a and this is minus log a three y uh sorry y cube not three uh, no three in front sorry y cube the cube you bring in front here instead now another thing is you need to know this uh, log a a has a value of one log a one has a value of what zero why because this is a power one equals to a this is a power zero equals one remember i'm changing from logarithm form to index form and in fact a power n is just n right so um you can have a power one over a is a uh, log base a one over a is just negative one or log a square root a is just half yeah some of the shortcut huh? so if you have log a, a here i'm just gonna write this as one and if you have log a x i'm gonna replace this with p as you can see log a y i'm gonna replace it q there's a three q in front okay so this is the first simple example okay the more to come maybe we want to um I'll give you numbers this is unknown let's look at some numbers okay so let's say log base um let's make it more interesting uh base two three equals to uh equals to x log base to five equals to y so express okay so let's use decimal um log base to Mm, 2.4 yeah 2.4 in terms of x and y okay what is 2.4 in decimal it's 24 over 10 24 over 10 is 12 over 5 so we can change this to 12 over 5 in the first thing first step number two we can break this up to 12 is going to be uh four times three over five and we can break it up further to log to four plus log to three minus log to five if you have four we can change to two power two right i'll keep the log to three and uh log to five leave it first okay now we're going to substitute a log base two three is x log base two five is y log two two remember has a value of one right so this is two plus x minus y yeah and this is quite a simple example so you know how to expand now let's look at combining yeah uh, for most people combining is a harder part okay but uh okay i, I just go through three three class example which is actually the reverse of expansion if i give you log a x plus log a y minus log a z now we know plus when you combine becomes multiply minus becomes divide so number two what if you have a number in front let's say the number in front is a uh, two here all right then this is a plus okay and there's a three here and a minus so the difference between number one and number two is that number two if you have a number in front you're going to bring the power up first okay so when you bring this number power up this is z power three now when you combine this is x square y divide z power three okay number three what if you have um uh two just just two by itself yeah log a y minus three log a z yeah now this two doesn't have any logarithm now the term without logarithm we're going to introduce log a first you plus log a y minus okay i just do slower okay so that is the difference between number three and number two i i don't have a uh, log so i introduce the log then the rest will be the same as uh, point number two i bring the two up becomes a square I bring the, the 3 up becomes z cube so when i combine it i get a square y over z cube so i think this is not difficult so classic exam uh, exam question uh, classic exam question will be they, they will give you a uh, let's say an expression like this okay i let's say 2 minus log a y equals to 3 log a x this is quite easy okay 
uh, I don't use A. La. Let me use another unknown. Okay. So what should I use? What base you like? Maybe I use base 5. Okay. So, and I'm supposed to express Y, say, in terms of X. Now, this, this 2 doesn't have any logarithm, so I put a log 5, 5. Yeah, remember that? Put log 5, 5. What do I do? The 3, I bring it up, X power 3. Now, then, when I bring the 2 up, 5 squared is 25, there's a minus log 5Y. This is log 5X cubed, correct? Minus, when you combine it, becomes divide. I keep this. Now, I remember, you, the only way to get a logarithm is if I have a single logarithm term. If I don't have a single logarithm term, I do have to, uh, uh, what do you call that? Combine it first, yeah? What are the classic examples that I've seen? Students taking this and divide everything by log. Well, they, they think log is like, a number that you can divide with no you can't uh. you can't divide it and write uh, 2 minus y equals x cubed this is x cubed. this is wrong uh. wrong concept you can only give your logarithm when you combine everything to a single logarithm term like this then you compare 25 over y is x cubed y is 25 over x cubed yeah okay so i think this is enough not difficult right uh, let's talk about the next part changing the base of logarithm so if you want to the, the, the new the next formula is changing base uh, because sometimes you may have a logarithm at different bases that you cannot simplify so if I log base a b we can introduce a new base a c and c the original number b goes on top original base a stays down yeah but there's a shortcut to this though you may want to use the same base this one I'm using base c right you can see that but if I use base b what happens is that this becomes log bb, this is log ba. So, and log bb has a value of 1, so this is just 1 over log ab. Let me give you a few examples. Let's say you have log base 3, 5. I can change to any base, base 2, base 2. This will be 5 on top, 3 below. Or you may have log base 4, 7. So I can do 1 over log base 7, 4. Yeah, this is for this, the, if you want to uh, change to base 7, I can just invert this way. But uh, we, we use this formula for changing base most of the time to solve or uh, simplify logarithm uh, value. Uh, to find a logarithm value, like for example, if I give you log, um, what do you like, uh, base, maybe I use 8 and 32. Yeah, we, we know this can be changed into base 2, so we can change to base 2, base 2, how do I know? Because 8 is to power 3, 32 is to power 5, so 32 stays on top, 8 stays down. Okay, number 2, we know 32 is to power to power 5, 8 is to power 3, when we cancel is 5 or 3. Now, by the way, you can actually use other bases that if you don't want to use base 2, I just, just so you know, I just call it base A. Okay, A can be any number, 32 stays on top, 8, 8 stays down. Now, we know 32 is to power 5 bring the 5 down okay 8 is 2 power 3 bring the 3 down now you notice these two are a and a so you can just cancel them you still get the same answer right okay uh more importantly also there are some questions that you cannot um basically you cannot solve it using normal way now i cannot change the base 2 because 3 is not to power something uh integer like our fraction 5 is not 2 power something it, 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 they are going to be in decimal so what you can do is you can use LG by the way LG means log base 10 yeah short form 5 stays on top 3 stays down what you need to do is key in your calculator type in yeah you get the answer yeah because your calculator can do base 10 okay all right okay let me give you an example of changing base so let's say you're given log base um log base to 3 again equals to x log base to 5 equals to y you're supposed to let's say express log base uh what's up with a simple one uh, base 8 of um uh, what should i use uh? let me think um i've used fraction a lot uh 10 okay la, 0 0.6 0 0.6 is too easy right 0 0.6 3 or 5 too easy okay um i still cannot think of a nice number mm. 5 3 5 3 2 0 3 2 0 3 mm, 15 okay la, seven and a half yeah so express this in terms of x and y 
So now number one, I know I have to change the base because this is base two. So I change the base two, base two. Seven half stays on top, eight stays down. Number two, what is seven half? Uh, seven half is fifteen over two, right? Whereas eight is two power three, right? Now the fifteen, I can break it up to three by five over two. Whereas this is not three. So when I expand, I get a uh, log two three plus log two five minus log two two over three. Now log base two three is x. Log base two five is y, and log two two is one. There you go. That's your answer. Okay. I think this is not difficult. Uh, but sometimes you may have a uh, different bases. Let's say for example, log base. Uh, I use two. Um, let me use a number. <coughs> let me use a number. Let's say a la equals to h, and log base five b equals to k. You're supposed to express log base. Um, okay, I, I'm just going to use the same a la. A is better, right? Okay, log base a here, and let me use 40 in terms of h and k. The difference is, now I, I don't know which base to change to, just now I, I can see they have these two have the common base, but this time they have different bases, one is base 2, one is base 5. So you don't want to change the base first, instead you want to break this up, this will be 40, you need to think 8 times 5. Now I don't want to think 40 times 10 uh, because 10 if you think 4 times 10 the 10 you can still change to 2 times 5 because these two are base 2 yeah so i think 8 times 5 is better when you break it up this is log a8 plus log base a5 now remember i want to use this information i want to change to h and k one is base 2 one is base 5 so i can use a shortcut uh, maybe i change this first log a2 power 3 log a5 and remember what i said just now log a b is just one over log b a the shortcut for changing base so i change this to one over log base to a one over log base 5 a right so this will be 3 over h 1 over k if you want you can combine it 3k plus h over hk yeah this is a shortcut okay what else uh okay expressing y uh, let's say y in terms of x. Okay, let me give you a simple example. Let's say you have a log base 3y plus log base 27x um, equals to um, 4. Okay, I don't know, 4 is too big. Maybe I use 2, uh, 4 is too big. Okay, I use 2. Yeah. Okay, so you're supposed to express y in terms of x maybe i make it more interesting by putting another x mm, i think it's okay okay let, let's start with this okay so here i want to com remember to express y in terms of x i have to combine them uh, but before you combine them you need to have a lock with the same base this is base base 3 this is base 27 so i know i will change the base to sorry this is base 3 base 3 27 stays down x stays on top 2 stays on top now number 2 this will be log 3x this will be 3 this is 2 uh, what we can do is you can multiply everybody by 3 yeah? so it's 3 log 3y uh, plus log 3x equals to 6 then when you bring this up this is y power 3 um, I think I combine it straight away it becomes x uh, multiply and for me Sometimes you don't have to introduce log in front of the uh, at the back of six uh, because we can change from logarithm form to index form, and from here you can uh, divide them. Y power three is three power six over x, and a cube root. When you cube root, this is three power two. This is cube root x. So therefore, your y is nine over cube root x. Okay, so I think it's something I've seen before. Right? All right, and the last one. Yeah, last one. Simplifying a uh, logarithmic fraction. So let's say if you have a log, okay, this one I'm not sure the, the figure can work. Out. Let's say base 2, this is base 3, 
and this is base uh, base don't use base 3 so I use base base 9 9 and this one I'll use a, a 25 I just use different figure la, different figure okay la, base 5 la, just make it easier okay so this would be 125 um, this will be uh, uh, I'll, I'll take a 16 and I'll take a I'll take a 27 okay so something like this okay I'll make it 81 81 make it more difficult but you really can see how what I'm going to do uh, because I have to use these three bases here so when you change a base you can change your any base uh. the first one I'll just change to base 10 why base 10 a base 10 is LG don't apply so many things you want to use other bases like base 5 base 2 also can it works it works so um, I'm gonna use 16 here I'm gonna use 9 here divide LG 81 over 5 now 1 2 5 is 5 power 3 keep the base 2 16 is 2 power 4 9 is 3 power 2 now this one I could invert it I'll be invert as in 5 on top 81 below okay let me start by cancelling some of this okay i think i made a mistake really I, i'm sorry I, I made a mistake i cannot put five here this one should be 81 five yeah sorry yeah uh, it should be 81 five because it's a one over 81 five so that the five supposed to be on top 81 supposed to be below so this is 5 81 so 81 on uh, no because i really cancel this sorry man this is very ugly because i already cancel this too mm. yeah okay can 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 work can work i, I scare, scare myself this is fine okay now what can i do next okay so at this stage i think we can cancel this two first huh? yeah cancel this two first this four and two so can cancel f two so you're left with 6 over LG3. How about LG81? 81, 81 we can change to 3 power 4. 3 power 4. Answer them. Answer is 24. Okay, so that's all for logarithm. Yeah, we move on to the next part after this.